It's time for the Giz Wiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1992, recorded Thursday, June 13th, 2024. The Flapple, Flag, and Eggler. On this episode of the Giz Wiz, Diggity heads to housewares for the holidays. Mo has a very special video, and I hit the tracks for my commuter gadget. All next on the Giz Wiz. It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now, and here he is, our uh, our host with the most bandwidth, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dick? <laughs> With the le- with the varying bandwidth, with the most varying degrees of bandwidth, uh, exactly, e- exactly. Yes, evidently there is a trouble somewhere on the Upper West Side, and Verizon, Verizon uh, Spectrum is saying we're trying to fix it. I say um, we so. know there's a problem. Are we doing anything? Not yet. Not right. yet, but eventually. We have to see where the most complaints come from, and then we'll have an idea. <laughs> it must be in that area. We know there's a cable unplugged somewhere, but where <laughs> is a much more interesting question, because we don't know. Uh, yeah, so you're dealing with a, a, a bit of issues, so hopefully yes. hopefully that'll work itself out over time or won't interrupt our show too much, but uh, we're uh, so yeah. far... You're looking great. You're looking good. Yeah, no, no. It's, yeah. Well, this show's easy because I don't, don't use a lot of bandwidth for <laughs> this show. <laughs> Mentally uh. or electronically, <laughs> you know, it's, it's great. True. It's true. Um, I went on a little adventure that I think that you'll find What'd fun. What'd you do? What'd you so uh, the crappy corner theme is train gadgets. And, um, you know, I think that the commenter was being very friendly and saying, it could be commuter gadgets. You don't have to be on a train. Well, I went the extra miles to book a train ticket. And I went on the Bright Line. I teased that I might do it. And I did. In between last episode and this episode, booked a ticket, went on the Bright Line, which is rare for me. I'm not a... I don't ride trains that often. I'm Mm. just not in an area with trains. So it was a super fun trip. Um... I went to West, go? West Palm Beach. It's the first stop after Orlando. It's still like a two-hour train drive, a train ride. Um, of course, it's like you know, it's a new, brand new train. Uh, the whole route is new. Uh, the facilities are just so nice. Um, it's attached to the uh, airport, so you actually drive to MCO Airport. Uh, and when you're in Orlando, you go to Terminal 3, and you can even use the parking at that terminal, um, and then oh, Terminal wow. C, I mean, and then, uh, and then you go get on uh, the train. And um, so anyway, you'll be seeing that all of the rest of the crappy corners will be shot from the train. Or have oh train my goodness! So oh my uh, goodness. for the rest, so you of brought the, all the gadgets on the train. So oh, I, I did clever. a bulk Amazon order. Once I realized that I could get the tickets, they're doing a sale right now where adults okay. ride for the price of children, which I think is fifty percent off. Um, so I was able to get my tickets for about sixty bucks uh, round trip. Uh, oh. So thirty out, thirty back. Um, so, Very nice. Yeah, it, it was a bit more than that. It was like sixty-seven, I think, something like that. Okay. Um, for 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 uh, the round trip. And did you do any sightseeing there, or you just got on and off? Mostly on and off, and unfortunately, I, just like I said, it had been raining for the past week. Um, the first day it started raining was that day, and I got to West Palm Beach, and it just was rainy, rainy, uh, rainy. Boo, it was raining boo. all day, and I only booked it. Uh, for I booked it so I didn't have to stay overnight. So I went yeah. up in the morning and then back in the afternoon. And so uh, it was a bit of a rainy day, but I did. Uh, I was able to get a car for only like thirty bucks. So I uh, rented a car and drove around. I had never been to West Palm Beach, and that oh, is a, nice, nice. That is a rich 
part of the country. Yeah, Whoa. that is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was, that was cool. Uh, I basically got to see the sights from a rental car um, and uh, got food. And yeah. So anyway, it was awesome. I, I, and trains. What a great mode of transportation, you know? Not just a big, big old thumbs up from me. Uh, can't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun to uh, experience the train trip, uh, which I rarely, I think I've only done in America from Newark into uh, New York, and then everywhere else has been subways or or, or that sort of thing. Oh, or in Europe, yeah. um, it really hasn't been a train. Um, so. Uh, so it was, it was just so, a ton. Does of the Bright Line have like a first class thing? They do. Oh, they do. They do. Wow. So they call it premium and smart. Um, and the premium class, you get bigger and better seats. I only got the coach, so I got the smart. And you also get lounges at every station. So at every single station, they have a premium lounge that includes complimentary drinks and snacks. Um, so that's a kind of an, another, you don't just only get the seat. They're but also, how long does the train stop at each station? Oh, not long enough to enjoy the lounge. It would be I only just, no, it's only just enough time if you get there 20 minutes before your train. Uh, oh, okay. So you don't really, run out and grab some snacks and run back on the no, train? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. okay. okay. Um, so yeah, so it does have that premium car and then uh, all the others are um, just coach you know but they're yeah. you'll see in the video it's like if it was a plane it would be ultra first class like yeah <laughs> you'll see no like, I, I read a, a lot about the bright line that they've been doing great stuff it was i mean i was shocked the the you know i only got to see the two stations and one of them is in an airport so i assume that would be very nice but the second station was uh, incredible you know much smaller but still i mean it was like super high quality um all the staff was incredibly helpful um and then of course the train is just gorgeous just because it's new um and and it goes fast it was that was so cool to look out the window and to be moving faster than the cars Oh. You know, on a train, typically I don't. That doesn't happen. You look out the window. They have you're a going, big phenomena on the wall. So <laughs> they don't. See. They don't have. It's don't not. I think it's like eighty or ninety miles an hour. Oh, okay. okay. At max, it's not like two hundred, but still, yeah. it's faster than the traffic. Which, um, I you know, the only other trains I've been on, I just remembered, are things like uh, like tourist trains, like the Santa Fe. Um, and and that type of thing. And those go so slow. You know, the, that those are just a completely different situation um so yeah uh, yeah Dennis and i i think the best train we ever did was it's called the coast oh you might have done it when you lived out there the coast starlight express that oh. runs from san diego to san francisco yeah i, I didn't get a chance to do it um oh. but yeah yeah it runs right next to the water as a matter of fact the tracks are closer to the water than the highway and it is amazing. It, it's a, a 13 hour trip. So you leave in the morning and you can get uh, a, a sleeper. It was it was it was well worth the money because if one person bought the sleeper, the sleeper was for two and it included all three meals. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So oh, it was wow. great. It was great. I don't think they real. Maybe now they realized that was too much of a bargain. We shouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> you well. never know. Honestly, with the train industry, I wouldn't be shocked that there's something that's still priced for the 1950s. You know? <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. And the fun thing is that the observation cars, the entire train is in observation. The, the entire car. Oh, that's cool. You know, in the old days, only the very center of the train, maybe 16 seats had the dome. Mm -hmm. But uh, these days there'll be an entire dome car. So it's, it seats like a hundred people. So you don't fight to get a view. Uh, but that's a, that's a great trip to do. That's cool. I, I really, one day, uh, definitely a bucket list thing is to, is to book one of those longer trips where you kind of hop from iconic rail line to iconic rail line you know or yeah you do one up here and then one over there and then one over there and you get to 
uh, do kind of all of the iconic passageways, you know, the iconic routes with some of the really cool cars and uh, things like that. I, the, the, definitely one, one time I want to do that for sure. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. And if you come to – well, you never, you never were a native New Yorker. If you are a native New Yorker and you have not gone to the Transit Museum, it's great because they have one set of every – period car that ever ran in the subway the old-fashioned subway cars that was open at each end like a like a platform <laughs> and they have all the all every train has its original ads in there oh my gosh and one i remember it always broke me up it was my shadow chateau martin wines maybe they still make it and it says an elegant wine just a dollar a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> so, or maybe it's a dollar a quart. But I'm thinking an elegant wine. An elegant wine. Only. A buck a quart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, two buck Chuck from um, Trader Joe's? They have a wine that's known for being extremely inexpensive. Oh, oh, okay. Our Trader Joe is too small. They carry beer, but no wine. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Oh, it's so elegant. It only cost me $5. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anytime, those, those don't match. It, elegance no, that, and price. No, it's, very, it's very funny. That's funny. That's very funny. <laughs> Well, let's um, jump into some gadgets. Okay, yeah, all right, so there was a show in town called the um, Housewares for the Holidays, and it is put on by the uh, International Housewares Association, and they always have fun stuff there, so we'll look at three gadgets now and three more next week, and here's gadget one. We're at Housewares for the Holidays. We're at Gold Press. We always stop here because they have neat stuff. And this year, they have something that just came out, right? It just came out on Monday. We're super excited about it. Okay, and this is? This is the AeroPress Go Plus, so the ultimate travel system. So instead of, you know, opting for a, an okay cup of coffee on the road, now you can take this on the road back to school or wherever you're going. So this is a full-size AeroPress Clear made with uh, BPA-free Triton. Interesting. Oh, it is okay. an eight ounce capacity coffee maker. We like AeroPress. So, so it's like the travel it one. It's like all the travel the one. All the parts are in there. Everything is in here. So we have the scoop, we have your stir, everything collapses into itself from here. And what's fantastic about it, this is a lead free stainless steel tumbler, keeps your coffee hot or cold for lots and lots of hours with a built in filter holder at the bottom. So oh, you screw good. everything on. You press in here. We have a magnetic lid here, so it's easy to clean. So you can just kind of like slide and take that oh, off. Oh, what? Is that a clean? That's that cool. And whenever you're done drinking, you give it a quick rinse, and then you press everything together, and it collapses into itself, and you're ready that to go. That is amazing. And now I'll pull a rabbit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, no. Okay. And, and this is going to retail for? This is retails for seventy nine. It is available now. Available now. And in different colors? or So we have two colors now. We have this beautiful cream color and the black. And the black. Okay. AeroPress, their new travel mug, out this week. Wow. I think that is going to be popular. That yeah. is exciting. Because the I, I, we used AeroPress over at Twit. I know a few people who... Still had them in their homes and stuff. Oh my goodness! I had Love the them. I have a, a a plastic version of this, and it's so clever because mm -hmm. everything goes into the mug that you drink your coffee out of. So you set this thing up, yeah, like the, the, the one you're showing now. Uh, so this is the bigger version where it goes in a thermal mug, and I think that's so clever that the uh, the the lid is magnetic, so you can take it off and. Uh, and the, the threading everything. will allow you to just flip yeah. it upside down. Yeah. And the yes. very bottom yeah. unscrews and the filters are in there. I think it's great. I think it's great. I agree. The chat is kind of saying, oof, $80. Yeah. Yes. I agree. That's a lot. I would wish that it was less. Uh, but this seems like highly premium. Um, highly premium. If highly you're giving, premium. One, I don't know if you can get one by Father's Day. I did see this. 
twenty percent off for Father's Day if you're thinking about one. Uh, is it? I think it's, it might be this week, isn't it? Father's Day. Oh yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. This is uh, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. It's this weekend. I'm pretty sure. This weekend. Okay. Um, um, Sunday. It says Dan in the chat. Uh, so one thing about AeroPress that uh, I hope that everybody understands how it works is. You stick the thing on top, you put the coffee grounds in, you pour, you stir, and you press. And so that requires no batteries or anything. So this would really be yeah, a, it's totally manual. It's yeah. totally manual. Yeah, there's no there's no brewing. It's not like a Keurig or anything like that. So uh, it's a great camping option as long you just need boiling water. <laughs> You know, and if you know how to build a campfire, <laughs> you have it made. Exactly, exactly. Very, very cool. New AeroPress Go Plus. AeroPress Go, Go Plus. Plus. Okay. Now, this next item, I think it's ingenious, and here it is. I'm at the Renew booth, and someone came over and said to me, Oh, uh, this. Uh, booth over there that is showing chopping blocks oh and i said well nothing exciting about that and they said but they're made out of chopsticks and i had to come over and ask trinity what are we looking at well we're actually we're looking at a bunch of boards uh, so we could use them as cheese boards cutting boards charcuterie boards and they're a hundred percent made out of recycled chopsticks so is this the end grain of the this is the end grain you can see each of the chopsticks right here so each of these little circles is a chopstick and, and where did you get the chopsticks <laughs> uh, we, so we have a network of restaurants that have agreed to separate out their chopsticks for us and then we go and we collect them and then we take them back to our facility in Texas and then we process them into these boards and any idea how many chopsticks? That oh. is in that board. I could tell you. Oh, it's on here. Oh. Yeah, it tells you right here. This is 900, 537 chopsticks. <laughs> and you've avoided 57.54 pounds of CO2 by us not throwing these chopsticks in the landfill. Oh, that is amazing. So you make all different kinds. All different kinds of boards. Even that's chopsticks, right? Even this is chopsticks that as is well. That is beautiful. And give me a, a price range. Uh, so this would be about two twenty-eight. This one's one sixty, and this one's ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Okay, and they're available now. They are available July first. July first. And is it Renew.com? It is RenewByTrinity.com. RenewByTrinity.com. This is a great use for chopsticks. Thank you. Thank you. We're just happy to keep trash out of the landfill. <laughs> it sounds great. That is crazy. I'm like so interested to know, like, are... Is it more durable also than normal wood? Uh, like, I, I don't know. Is there they, any other benefit? I mean, just keeping chopsticks out of landfill is a cool. Benefit. Oh yeah, they are. Just go down a little, a little further, and uh, I think cl uh, click on it. It all adds up. It all. Oh uh, well, yeah, just up. click on that. Yeah, to learn more. There are. <laughs> That's cool. It's interesting how many chopsticks there are there it is oh my god one and a half billion chopsticks are discarded every week interesting and That's so they easy yeah. every week I, I we know. grow a lot of bamboo just to using <laughs> chopsticks i guess <clears throat> yeah but the, uh, the they make coasters too they're they're really beautiful i and uh Amazed. I mean, yeah. that's crazy. I, I, you know, at first it sounds a little pricey, but then I'm thinking they have to go around to the restaurants who who they sign contracts with to <laughs> save the chopsticks, and then they have to bathe them and melt them down, and I, I, I it just seems a daunting thing. But I I'm agree. Glad someone thought to do it. I agree. I agree. I you you really. I think it's pretty easy to become. Uh, also, like, how I don't know. It just there seems so. Like, is this the? I don't know. I'm just so like enamored by this whole thing. Recycling chopsticks into a big old thing. 
It's crazy. It's, I, uh, I know. I don't know how. I I don't know how someone thought to do that. <laughs> Eating in a restaurant, going. I hate to throw these away. Maybe I'll make them into a coffee table. <laughs> and then I charge two hundred dollars for the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, um, it's just it's bizarre. It reminds me of uh, something I saw them doing with uh, soap from hotels. Is the leftover? Oh, soap. I, they yes. like get the leftover soap and then process it into a big old soap bar, and then they, you know, give it away to people in need. Uh, oh, all right. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. yeah, yeah. Not that quite the same as the as a chopping block, but <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Some or coasters, or yeah. Uh, yeah. So that is interesting. Uh, Renew by Trinity. Um, Trinity is yeah. uh, is the website. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna uh, uh, be like distributed or just their own website. Like, is you know, right now I think they're and, just. It's probably a small operation like for small. now. Yeah. 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 Five point four trillion chopsticks are thrown away a year. You could uh, somebody should put up a building. <laughs> you know how many chopsticks are in that building? <laughs> <laughs> right, and when you first go in, some, <coughs> don't be uh, alarmed if the floor smells like soy sauce. <laughs> exactly. Just for a couple weeks. You just go up to every door, and you have to kind of rub them ag- together to get all the little splinters off of it. Oh, you God. know. No, the, I mean the the finish on these things is just astounding. Just That's astounding. Really cool. I wonder, how, you know, do they press them and then epoxy them? Oh, I think them they do then... because you can see the end grain. Of oh, e- yeah, of you even have ch- one. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, no, they, they make four coasters for $40. So cool. And they do little logos of dogs or cats. It seems um, solid, this, solid. They Oh, they did. And, and this is, was what they gave away that, so you remember their name. Um, these little coasters. They are really amazingly uh, strong. Hey, listen, anyway. I need real hardwood floors. I think we there should just make go. them out there of chopsticks. You you know? Get the chopstick truck. Gather a few chopsticks. I want bamboo <laughs> hardwood floors. Bam. There you go. There you go. Uh, okay. Um, Final game. Okay. Uh, number, three number three is a quickie. What the heck is it? Oh. Uh, what on earth? There's no audio. One second. Uh, let me see if I can okay. figure this out. Not sure why. One second. Yep. Hey, we're here at Dream Farm. You hey, like to play What the Heck Is It? Chat room. What the heck is it? Uh, I'm going to say it's a photo frame on a picture uh, you don't want people to see. I'm going to say it's a uh, My <laughs> First Locket. But, okay. This is actually Dream Farm's Flapple, which is our full flapple? flapple slicer. A and flapple. here at Dream Farm, we love to solve problems. So what we're doing is, first off, when you're cutting just a single apple, who wants to pull out a full cutting board? Problem solved. We have a cutting board built right into our flat bulb. Oh. And then another thing is that a lot of times with apple slicers, they don't completely core the apple. With Dream Farm Slapple, it gets all the way through oh, we'll we'll and does eight perfectly slices just like that. Minimal effort. Let's pull that core out there. Ah. And then the best part at all is afterwards, your storage is extremely easy as it just folds flat. Like so. Is it dishwasher safe? It's dishwasher safe as well. Throw it in. Yeah. Yeah. So easy cleaning mechanism. Pretty much little effort. Okay. And it sells for? $14.95. And it's out now? It is out now at your local kitchen store. Okay. And we're going to go to your website because we wanted to see... The egg, what was it called? The Eggler. So the Eggler. Eggler. <laughs> yeah. They have the yeah. funniest name. The Eggler. You put it in a frying pan? Um, so with the Eggler, that's actually for bold eggs, and you use it to easily crack, peel, and slice. But we do offer something called the Fleg, which 
you put in frying pans and make the perfect egg ring. Okay, and then you take it out and release the egg? Yes, yes, so okay. our That's flag. What I was at. What We've got a couple of egg pro uh, egg items in the market right now. Okay. Is there a video on your website? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay. Dream Farm, we'll go find stuff. I can't so wait to try their Malagler and the they're, uh, they're, they're egg tastic. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I put pictures of them. Uh, I, I found pictures of them on their website. Oh, good. They good. love these weird names. Yes. The, f the, the flag. <laughs> the flag. The flag is, no, the flapple is what we saw. Oh, the flapple, yeah. The, the flapple, flapple is, is the apple cutter that's with the, the apple super cutter. sharp stainless steel <laughs> blades. Honestly, that's I really like it because... Uh, I've done this, I've, you know, had almost this exact type of, uh, style of apple cutter, you know, and yeah, you yes. can never, it does, you, after you cut it, you kind of have to use your fingers to, like, press against the blades to get it to cut all the way, so that little cutting board, A, avoid yeah, yeah, it's board. very clever. I like it, I like, I like and, the flap. And it closes to, to, uh, protect your fingers from the blades when you're not using it. Yeah. So like that, when it's that stored is very and, well done. Yeah. It's very well done. So the other two were the egg lure and the flag. <laughs> the flag, I think, is the one that I thought was kind of fun. <laughs> Let me see. If I, I don't know if I can open it. There we go. Here's the, the egg lure. This one is loading here. So uh, the egg lure, I don't quite understand. The egg lure, I guess... Is for hard boiled eggs to peel it. And then after you peel it, you use the. What is she doing? I guess that's how you. She, it's, so this is the mechanism for peeling. It's like a weird. For peeling it. Oh, and then when you, once you peel it, you use the base of it to make a totally sliced egg. Oh. So, oh, so you got a crack, a peel, and a sliced egg. Slice and a slice this. it. Okay. That's the egg That's the okay, egg well, I, gotta, I need to go find the other one. I'm having issues. Okay. There's too many gadgets here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, here's the flag. Oh, no, the flag is not going to load. One second. Oh, is it not? Oh. It's, uh, it's just a broken link. I need to... F there we go. Oh, uh, there well, we go. I fixed it. That. I fixed it. I fixed it. No, no, no. I okay. think it was a, a copy-paste issue. There's the flag. Uh, I, I, it looks like Whoa. you fry the egg in that form. Yeah. And then check this out. You take it out. Oh, there you do. There, there, there's the video she meant. So oh. you put it, and then oh, you. It's kind of fun. That's actually great. You get a perfectly <clears throat> fried sunny side up egg if you want, or you can turn it over. But then bring it over to your sandwich, squeeze it. Oh, that's actually And it drops great. the whole egg. I guess because it, the inside rim has that lip, when the egg cooks, it will kind of stay in there until you give it yeah. a squeeze. I thought that was very clever. I like very that clever. a lot. Because I've seen a lot of the egg rings. You know, you can pick up an egg ring in anywhere, basically. Uh, yes. But this was one with a feature. That's really yeah. cool. That's the really flag. Cool. The flag. The flying <laughs> egg, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like, here, let's see. Is there any, uh, here's their best sellers. Let's read off their, their best sellers. And you tell me if you think you know what the gadget does. Okay. This first gadget is called the Brizzle. The Brizzle. Oh yeah, the Brizzle. It, what do you think the Brizzle does, Diggy D? The Brizzle is a pork chop dipper. I have no idea. You're really close, actually. The brizzle is a combination scoop, baste, and drizzle brush. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. <laughs> the br that is so... Look, it's a scoop, baste, oh, drizzle so... brush. The brizzle. Oh look! Oh, it's a, oh oh! It really is true about the scoop. Oh look at this! You scoop it in there, and then it drizzles out. But it's still a brush. That's why it's the brizzle because it drizzles as a brush. Oh my god! There's there's a science. I think we may have just found the best company ever. Um, okay, that here's another one, Dicky D. We need you to tell me what the Garject. 
does. The Garject. The Garject. I'll help you out. Here's how it's spelled. Chat room, help me out. It is G A R J E C T. The Gerject. Gerject. Mm -hmm. It is a way to take trash bags mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. out of a tin can. Mmm. 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 No. <laughs> the the real answer is garlic press, scrape, eject. The garject <laughs> is a garlic press that'll apparently eject the remnants somehow. I don't I I, don't, I haven't even seen it yet work. I think mm -hmm. we found our favorite company. Oh look, see it's scraping. Oh, oh my oh, the God. eject! Wow! Whoa! How do I that, invest? How do I invest in this company? Dream Farm. Dream Farm is, is a, so funny. <laughs> that is so. Mad Frank says that's an old, an old tool. I think I don't think any of these are new, but it is very. I did not realize they had such a funny naming convention. No, they do. They're <laughs> they're very funny. They're very funny, and they're useful. They're, I love that egg carrier thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. It seems me, like there's some real uh, invention and real. Yeah, some real thought goes into this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Dream Farm. Uh, and those three gadgets are uh, uh, are the ones we covered. Okay, yeah. let's head oh, on in to... Now two. it's time for you to take over. <laughs> two! But you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Okay, yeah. Doki, without further ado, I took a look at this gadget right here and uh, recorded a video about it, so let's take a look. Hey Dicky D, so we are back at it with commuter, train, airplane gadgets. And I'm thinking if I'm waking up every day to get on that train, what am I gonna wanna do the most? Work? No. Mm -mm. Talk to the kids? No, not at all. I wanna catch up on sleep, duh. Um, so <laughs> that's why I found this uh, gadget. It is a travel pillow and eye mask all in one. What? Uh, here, let's just right. take a look at this uh, Amazon page really fast because it really does, a, I think, a better job. No more bobbing of the head. Oh. Now you can have some super cozy sleep just like this. The idea is that the gadget, which from Amazon, this is the whole, the whole packaging, the sleep mask can actually fit all the way around the headrest to hold your head up so you don't bob your head forward. So, uh, I need a headrest, I need a seat. Let's head to the train to uh, test it out. Okay, so now we are on the train. It's, it's early enough in the morning that I don't want to disturb anyone, so we're being quiet. But we have the sleep, the seat sleeper. And here's the thing, is this is a live review. There's people behind us, and the idea behind the seat sleeper is that it goes all the way around the seat. It goes all the way around. And these seats... Oh, oh my God. It's a normal coach, but it's on a train, so it's really big. So my first step is make this as, as uh, wide as I can make it. Oh, that is as big as I can make it. That's as big as I can make it. Let's also take the tag off. I appreciate that there's no branding on the front. It doesn't have like a big logo on the front, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's try this out. From their point of view, they're gonna see it right here. It's they're gonna hang stuff on it. Yeah. What is that guy doing? Yeah, they're like, excuse me, stewardess, get rid of this guy. Oh my, what? <laughs> oh my, oh my. Look, 
on this that it keeps catching on. Anyway, uh, maybe these seats are a little bit too big for it, but uh, <laughs> I think in a different context with a smaller seat, it would make it would make a lot more sense. Uh, I wouldn't write it off, but in this situation, it is completely impractical. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go uh the first of our train gadgets we'll look forward to being on the train for the for the rest of them here it is um i think i, I really think it was just way too big there's some people doing it in the car like a, a vehicle um a lot but of not the driver not the driver no no um, and there's also, it's kind of hard to tell, but like Delta has these type of seats that almost have a, have more of a pillow option. Oh, yes, yes. And a lot of images kind of showed it going behind the pillow so it didn't have to strap all the way around to the other side where, the, where another passenger is. You know, it can kind of use the pillow as a, as a way to, oh, um, I see what you're saying. Yeah. to do that. Maybe some, uh, uh, some reviews here will, uh, show <laughs> That's kind of how I felt there. See this like pillow thing. It went behind the pillow and then didn't have to go to the other uh, side of stuff. <laughs> What's that? I, I have no idea. I have Does not... it come with a magic mark? No, I, I guess this is to stop the CIA from face oh detecting. My, oh, I my have, I have, oh my God. I have no idea why someone, it looks like someone... Uh, Drew, vandalized this review is what it looks like. <laughs> Somehow there's been graffiti on the internet, but that's not possible. This person put that no. on themselves before they uploaded this image. That is a riot. Um, anyway, uh, the reviews are actually pretty good. You can kind of see from, from the reviews. Oh, uh, yeah. It's yeah, like a lot of good. people actually liked it. I think I was very unlucky that it was such a <laughs> large chair and the wings of the chair, and I think I just got really unlucky. Um, one design flaw that I really don't like is that uh, this uh, strap, one side is just plain old uh, strap. The other side, though, has these two sort of uh, rubberized little grip, grippy bits on it that the other side doesn't have. And it's installed, in my opinion, incorrectly. I want the uh, soft, fuzzy part to be on my face, which means that this nice, grabby part is now on the outside. When I wanted it to be on the inside, so it would grab hold of the leather and, like, grip oh, a, yeah. a bit more. So I don't understand why it was even designed like that. I'm, uh, I'm glad that the reviews on Amazon are pretty good for it, but uh, I've got to say that my I would give this, like three stars maximum. So, um, there you go. Uh, not, Okay, uh, so you want me to send you that inflatable pillow <laughs> that you stick your hands through? That would help. You know, maybe this, maybe I needed to actually use this in a different way and strap myself down to the pillow. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and then, go. and then that would have been much better. Uh, $18, uh, for the travel pillow alternative. Um, and, uh, I mean, I'm going to keep it. Uh, I did actually like that bag that it came with, and I've since misplaced it. Um, I think I'm going to keep it and try to use it on, in other situations, like in a car instead of in a, in a uh, train. Um, but still not super impressed with it. Okay, okay. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse, oh. Okay, actually you could start showing the video from Mo, and I can talk over it because we don't get to the gadget for a minute or so. Hey, so, so let's evidently, play some basketball. Whoops. Hey, hey, hey. They're, they're, they're going to play like, basketball. Uh, ah, let's try it anyway. Okay. It's he dark. The, yeah, I know. He said the lights in the park are out, but they're going to play anyway. And I believe that is Mo and Jacob, uh, his son. And they are playing basketball and not having a great time. <laughs> so Mo being 
a seeker of gadgets will show us a way oh. around this. He, he, made, he made a shot. He got two He made points. a shot. Okay. I think there is one. Oh. Oh. Now oh. Got the game going. Interesting. I didn't expect the ball to... It's like a normal colored ball before. Yeah, I know. Much it easier actually, to see. Yeah. It looks magical, even. It does look... It does look... I, I was also very surprised at how basketball-like it looks and how uh, evenly illuminated it is. I know. Is. Also, with the, it had just rained. You know, the... the Reflection on the ground looks so cool. Yeah, this is like Tron. It's like Tron <laughs> basketball. Hey! So oh. even if hey, the park is not points. lit, I think most starts talking again in a second. I like that. That's that's yeah. pretty neat. I, it, it looks, change. honestly, it looks uh, like computer generated. Like I, I keep thinking it looks like a uh, lightsaber. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. It's a lightsaber, but it's a funny. ball. That's very funny. Son, what would you think? I like this basketball. It's the Glow City Glow in the Dark Light Up Ball. Battery here and light here. Battery here, light here. All info below. We. I paid about $25 after taxes and free shipping on Amazon. Really cool, super duper gadget. If you want to play sports at night, they have basketballs, volleyballs, all kinds of different balls, supposedly, uh, this company on Amazon or other similar companies like this on Amazon. Go into dark balls. All right, I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Anything to say, son? I love it. It's your new favorite basketball? Yep. Motion activated, as you just saw. Turns off after about two minutes of no activity. Oh, that's Thank good. Thank you for watching. That's Bye now. Bye. Bye, Mo. Thank you, Mo. That is so so cool. Hi. I I I'm really shocked at um, the look of it when it was not illuminated. Like when he was playing with it before, or maybe that was just a different one. But still, I really uh, like that. Here's uh, one of them. Um, there's different sizes. This is a number uh, seven, I think. I oh, my God, yeah. Saying. Oh, and it uh, says regulation? Wow. And then, look, this one is like a different color. Like, it has this black oh my coating. Gosh. But then the... Um, isn't that neat? That's a very different color. And then mm. they have all oh these my other... Oh, my dude, look at all. Do they have <laughs> I a know. bowling ball? And then I saw, look, this is the same company. They make a, uh, looks like a soccer a ball and a yeah. football and all sorts of stuff. Oh, you can buy three balls in one. <laughs> yeah. You a get the whole of, pack. Oh, you know, yeah. You're ready to go to the oh, beach. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then, like, same, This is, these look, they're much, I mean, with the sky in the background, them being that bright, I'm, I'm impressed. That's neat. Glow City. Now, you know, it suddenly dawned on me. Are they rechargeable? Or? Yeah, I was just thinking that. How do they charge? Because One, I saw it on. Uh, oh, here it is. You got an LED soccer ball. Here, I'm going back to that. Got, to, there we are. Pretty decent. Wow, it got very nice reviews. <laughs> yeah. 18,000 people. I'm hoping someone shows the. Uh, how do you charge it? there? See, like, there's this dark spot on it. Oh, oh right. Uh, That's lit with only is that, that little bulb. That is it. What? No way. That's tiny. Uh, I know there's one on each side of the ball. But boy, they did a great job. Yeah. I'm not, they, I guess it, yeah, it uses these little batteries. Oh, yeah, LR44s. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is uh, impact activated, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, too. yes, that's, that's why, why I said it, it, it shuts off after two minutes. Right, you don't got to worry about yeah. turning it on and off. That's neat. I like that one, Mo. Okay, well, with that, let's move on to the ladder. Our 
email is from Steve Davidson, who writes, I found this on Instagram. I <laughs> I think you would enjoy making one. Oh. But I've, but I've been to Disneyland, and there is no room for it. <laughs> now, wait until you see this. Okay. Okay. You can build your own what on disco earth? ball. Foot tall disco ball skeleton, high. and now it's time to see him light up in the dark. To make this crazy artwork, I first painted the whole thing chrome to make sure he was shiny through every crack. Then he and I had some time to reflect while we took a ride to my studio, where I <laughs> oh spent my nine days, over seventy hours of work, covering the entire surface of this twelve foot skeleton in tiny nine mirror tiles. days, it took half a million of them. Before we see him in the dark, I built him in my yard, and holy crap! I had no idea how much he would glisten just in the sun. Steve looks incredible. Also, I named him. Steve Steve after one of the Studio 54 disco nightclub owners. Then my neighbors saw him over the fence and asked to come over. <laughs> Look at its feet. Oh, they asked my. to come over so they could press charges for the blinding <laughs> that they... Goodness. This thing is massive. Wow. That's incredible. Now it's time to see this sculptured disco. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, there's no way this is Ali Spagnola. Is this Ali Spagnola? Is that everyone uh, saying Ali's I mean, amazing? It is Ali Spagnola. I've met her. Oh, you did? Yeah, she's been been friends with Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young oh, for so God. long. Oh, she okay. she is a uh, she is crazy, um, and her whole career is basically just having fun on the internet and then figuring out ways to monetize it. I swear. <laughs> That's what oh, she does. Wow. She just has fun doing stuff, and then she monetizes it yeah. somehow. Well, wait, the first part of that we have the monetizing, we're sort of falling down on. But having <laughs> fun, we're in for that. She one of the first things I saw her do was she made a uh, a musical like song that would go that lasted an hour, an hour long. <clears throat> it's called the Power, <laughs> the Power Hour. And every minute, 60 seconds, the song would change. And the idea is that the when the song changed, you would do one ounce of beer. And so at the end, you'd have 60 ounces of beer and be thoroughly drunk. But the whole time, you're playing along with Ali Spagnola. She says, you're doing a great thing. You know, this whole MP3 is oh fantastic. My God. It's great. Oh, my God. It's fantastic. But she's, she's, she just does all sorts of stuff. I mean, she's done hundreds of proje projects, it seems like, after that. Um, she's just doing projects all the time. Very, very cool stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, look, there's a Scooter X is showing the, um, um, like, honestly, she does so much random stuff that I can't keep track. And it's yeah. all like, it's all like well produced too. Like, look at, the, look at this website she made for this, for this yeah. project that she did. Like, what the heck? I don't even understand. Um, that's what she does. Uh, uh -huh. and apparently she made a gigantic disco Skeleton. Yeah, 12 feet high. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. For only, what did she say, 400 hours or something? <laughs> it, lied, like, it was like nine days, honestly. Yeah, nine days, yeah. yeah I'm gonna, that is yeah. crazy. Yeah, that I is. got my little disco ball, that's plenty. <laughs> that, that was $5. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> that that's was $5 it, and it. five below. <laughs> there you go, there you go. That's more our speed. <sighs> that is so, so funny. Um... Yeah, that skeleton I think is the skeleton that went a bit uh, meme-y, uh, but from Home Depot. Home Depot sold this 12-foot skeleton that you could oh, buy, and oh, it kind of became uh. this big joke to own this massive skeleton. I think this might have been like three years ago. Yes, um, now that does sound familiar. So they glow, they put stuff on it and so mirrored it. So I think that this and, was oh. like a redo of that one. Yeah, uh, like, okay, oh, let's bring okay. back the that, let's bring back <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> but that is cool. That makes sense. That is really really cool. Um, okay, well, thank you for uh, sending that over. Who was that, Steve? Steve Davidson. Yeah. Steve, thanks for sending that over. Um, I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support of our uh, show. Uh, we really, really appreciate your continued support. Uh, if you like the show, please consider giving back. Head on over to gizwiz.tv. That's our website. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website, and that banner will take you to our Patreon page. Or there's a tiny little link that will take you to our PayPal and you can donate uh, that way as well. However you do, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support of our show. 
Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern time. If there's ever an update, the website will have the uh, updated schedule at the top of it. Head on over there to uh, see the show live. <clears throat> if you don't catch it live, all of our episodes are there. Uh, after the fact, online, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you ever need a link back to a gadget, that is the perfect place to head. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The real What the Heck Is It? And this is the gadget. What the heck gadget is that? Uh, and I actually uh, already know uh, the gadget. Yeah, we looked at this uh, a little while back. This is actually a, um, it's a, it's a popsicle stick uh, for cats. Yeah, um, you would oh, first wow, start the popsicle. So and then you attach this to them like a collar, and the popsicle is, you know, they can lick this little popsicle bit right here. You know, I mentioned that one. Mm -hmm. uh, the cat sickle, as they called it. If you think you know what this is, get a guess. Sounds like a Kickstarter project to me. <laughs> it was a it was a pet starter actually. It was oh, a pet, pet starter. Pet starter, okay. yeah. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guess in six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers, so get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. And don't forget, oh. we need new videos. Yes. If you haven't sent in a video, okay, uh, do it. We need one for next week, all right? Uh, anything to do with a gadget, old gadget, new gadget, bad gadget, something you bought and loved, something you bought and hated, uh, one to three minutes, use your phone camera. Just make sure we can hear you and see the gadget. You can be in it if you want. Landscape format, get it to us really quickly. And quality, so-so quality is fine. <laughs> yeah. you, don't want to, you don't want to really show yeah. us up badly. The quality uh, below average, you know? Exactly. Well, that's exactly. all we need. Uh, put it up on YouTube, click on listed when you upload it, and that way only people with the URL will be able to see it. And send us the URL, mail at gizwiz.tv. You've been saying you'd do it. Do it. Do now. it. And it's, we're telling you at the end of the show because we, we got no yeah. more content. You're not, you're just turn this off and go do it right now. That's right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. See y'all next week. Okay. I'll be here. <laughs>